Hello and welcome to my channel. This is my first video for Tech Fanatic Official, and I'm very passionate about technology, especially agile, blockchain, and cloud technologies. And this is going to be the first, um, I guess, episode of my video, and it's going to be about blockchain. A bit about my background. Um, I actually work in IT between banking and finance, and I'm passionate about product management, and I work as a product owner. Uh, I started thinking about uh, cryptocurrencies and blockchain in December 2020. I did initially invest in cryptocurrencies in 2017, 2018, but after the crash happened, I sort of stopped and um, joined back again in December, watched some of the educational videos first, watched some of the uh, famous YouTubers like Ivan, for example, and did some of the courses to understand what's going on. And I actually started believing in blockchain read a lot about the new projects that were up and coming and sort of got immersed into it after my um, work, after work hours, basically. And here we are now in August and I have a lot of knowledge accumulated since then. And I want to share that now. Now, today I'm actually trying to share with you about a new project called Polytrade. And the reason I choose Polytrade is a lot of people that I know of and my friends contact me and ask me to introduce them to the newest projects that we have right now in blockchain. How do I invest in new projects? How do I identify new projects? How do I know if they're legitimate or not? And how do I um, basically make contact with people in those projects? So I'm gonna share some of this with you. And by the way, everything I say here is not financial advice. It's just purely for entertainment purposes. And I just, I'm just sharing experience with you here. So looking at Polytrade, and I'm sharing my screen here, which is Polytrade website. Basically, they're trying to revolutionize the trade financing industry by bringing centralized world and decentralized world together. So if you think about trade financing traditionally, um, a company wants to borrow uh, money or lend money and someone, uh, imagine company A, they have $100,000 worth of invoice from another company and they need the liquidity and cash very quickly. So what they do is they sell that invoice to company C at a discounted price of $90,000. And it's not that simple, but uh, there's insurance involved and a lot of things, but basically they get the money quicker so they can use it for their benefit faster. And also company C that has probably more capital, they can use this, um, this capital and the extra $10,000 as a profit in the future. So it sort of benefits both of them, depending on the budget they have, on the timeline they have. And it also helps with um, the off balance sheet um, account. So this whole account receivable and invoice financing is something that's uh, a big sort of industry in the trade financing world. It's a multi-trillion dollar industry. And it hasn't been actually touched on yet on blockchain. So what Polytrade is basically doing is connecting to those people in the decentralized or fiat world and they, they won't have a different experience it's going to be the same for them but where polytrade gets the liquidity and financing would be through the decentralized world through people who are investing through through the investors and basically having uh, liquidity on blockchain converting that to fiat and the fiat is then used to provide um, cash and money to people and companies who are sitting outside so that way there's also less issues in terms of regulatory concerns and also people who are not on blockchain or don't trust blockchain we still early adopters in in the blockchain world they don't have to worry about this so this is the basic concept that uh, talks about the polytrade project now this is the factor one of the factors and of course you could go to the website polytrade.finance and see the benefits for sellers and the benefits for investors so I like the idea. The idea is new. It's not a copy of another project. It's not an NFT project again. It's not another um, decentralized exchange. So this ticks the first box. Now, for me, the team is also very important because we see a lot of projects bring uh, people who are less experienced and maybe still in their university, uh, which, is, which is not wrong. I mean, we have a lot of great startups. Facebook was started by Mark Zuckerberg when he was in university. But also I prefer in, when it comes to the topic of finance to deal with someone who's already experienced in that. So if you go and look at the team, you quickly can see that 
um, this, uh, the founder, the CEO, and the people who are working there are very experienced. You can see the chief operating officer has worked in many companies, many famous companies, and worked as product manager and principal. We can see their marketing expert, chief marketing officer. He's worked also previously in Dubai and in India at a big capacity. You can also see that um, they have previously had a business, Recursor Capital, and they actually facilitated the trend financing previously. And they, you can see also on LinkedIn that they have a website, they have people still listing their job working for both Polytrade and Requesa Capital. So that, that sort of gives me some um, confidence in their project to be a success because they are listed there. Sometimes you see even the CEO of the, of the blockchain companies showing himself or herself as um, working for, for a different company, which to me, it seems like, okay, you're not dedicating all your time for this project. So the third thing is they're backed actually by pretty good advisors. So you probably know Sandeep Nelwal. He's um, the CEO of Polygon and the founder of Polygon. And also the founder of Shima Capital is uh, someone who invested and is an advisor. And he's someone who worked already in companies like Morgan Stanley and he started up these companies. So they have a good backing as well. And if you go further down the list of the investors, you can see a lot of good investors in this project. In terms of partnership also, you can see that they're gonna list an, on Polygon because obviously they wanna be low on transaction costs. So it makes sense to be on Polygon, which is the layer two solution for Ethereum. And at the same time, have all the benefits and all the applications that run on Ethereum just in the layer two. They'll be listed on Define Network, which is now one of the key um, decentralized exchanges in Polygon Network. They'll also be listed on gate.io, which is um, one of the best centralized exchanges in the world. So that's the, uh, I guess, third reason and fourth reason for me. Another reason I will look at is the roadmap. And the roadmap, you can see it's very detailed and there's giving you how they're exactly going to be central, uh, sorry, decentralized. So they, are, they acknowledge that it's gonna be more centralized at the start and towards the end, it's gonna be more decentralized. Another thing to look at is how much social media following they have, what backings they have. So if you look at their social media, we can see they have 72,000 followers. They are very active. So you can see even one yesterday they had an NFT. Um, they were releasing NFTs. They had a lot of uh, uh, competitions. They have a lot of news coming out. So you can see that they actually are quite active and they get engaged. Also, I checked their Telegram. They have around 32,000 people there right now in the community. And that's a really strong number to have just before launching. The next thing I will look at is the tokenomics of the project. And by the way, this is the Polytrade Finance on Telegram, 32,000 members, which is a very strong number. So now let me just uh, bring up for you the tokenomics. So in terms of tokenomics for this project, let's zoom in. You can see that they have had four rounds of investment. So the first round was seed round. And then they had the private round, they had the uh, strategic round and they have the public sale. And you can see how the price is changing. I think what I like about this is the locking mechanism is pretty good for both strategic and sale. So for the seed round, there's a three month cliff. So basically they cannot dump their uh, investment within the first three months. And then they have to wait one and a half year for the rest of that. In terms of uh, strategic sale, also they have a one month cliff. That's also very great. Private sale, they only get 15% release on day one. And the difference with the public sale is very, very little. And I had a calculation done and the fully diluted value with all the money they've raised goes around $15 million if all of the 100 million token is released. But at the release, they're only gonna have two and a half percent of the whole token to be released. And the, the market cap is gonna be around 370,000 uh, US dollars. So that's really good number to have because most projects go multi-million after they're launched, um, especially with the high demand that they have. So tokenomics to me is really great. They've 
they've implemented good locking mechanism they have a lot of community incentivization and that's really important for this project because they need to have collaboration with future projects now in terms of the next factor i will look at is what launchpad they've selected so they're going to be launching on polka starter in three days from now and polka starter to me is one of the best uh, launchpads to have especially um, if you're going on polygon network so i actually brought this document up and i can see that uh, they have kickpad thronepad downmaker and polka starter as the projects that are launching so Poco Starter had so far 65 projects launched on them, and they had an average all-time high return of investment of 41x or 4,134%. That is a very high number. And then still, even that we had the market dropping, all of those on average gave a 5x return to people who have invested throughout. If you compare this to other projects, you can see there's only one project, Kickpad, that had a better ROI, and they only launched seven projects, and recently Kickpad has been very quiet. So definitely, Polka Starter has been a great choice for them, and certainly it's going to give them a really good return of investment. The other thing I would look at is what is the um, market sentiment right now? So the market sentiment at the moment is pretty good, um, if you look at the coin gecko, for example, you can see that now the market cap is in August and is back up to $2 trillion and the, the projects are getting back up into the hype. So I think um, right now the sentiment is not as great as what it was in um, April and May, but it is now the second, I guess, sort of bull market to start soon, hopefully, um, because we had the AIP 1559 rolled out, Cardano smart contracts are rolling out, and also a lot of awesome NFT projects are being rolled out. So I think it's a great time for this project to launch. And I think because they were very conscious of having a successful launch, they postponed this by a month to make sure the market conditions are uh, optimal. And that's a very good decision made by the project. So these are the factors I would look at for any new project that I'm investing in. And I think most of the boxes are being ticked by Polytrade Finance. If you want to invest in this project, of course, the whitelisting has finished for Polytrade. But in three days from now, they're going to be launched. And um, market cap is going to be quite small. And you can always wait a day or two after the project is launched to start investing because I, I'm conscious that it's correct that sometimes the project is launching, but there might be some bots increasing the price or some people trying to make profit in the short term. So you could always check and see how it's going in, in one day. But remember, looking at the tokenomics and the goal of the project and the team behind it, in the long run, it's going to be a very great project. And I encourage you definitely to invest in it. So. Thank you for watching my first video. I hope you enjoyed it and make sure you subscribe to my channel and watch my future videos. It might not be blockchain. Next time might be something else. Thank you again.